Hello everybody! In this video I will show you several different magnet arrays and I show you what they look like under the magnetic viewing film. And to start off I have here a circular magnet array where all poles are facing the same direction and this gives us a field that looks like this and I just rotate it around bring it closer further away and you see the field that is forming I just view it like this and here we have a side view so now let's switch over to our next array and here I also have a circular array but a bit smaller one with only eight magnets and as you can see here the field is focused to the outside so this is a circular Halberg array where the magnets are arranged so that the field is focused to the outside as you can see here this is a view from the side so switch over to the next array and this looks the same but the magnets are arranged in a different way so this is also a Halberg array but here the field is focused to the inside as you can see just move it closer further away then we view it from the side rotate it yep so we move over to the next array this is also the same looking but the magnets are again arranged differently so here all the magnets are facing the same direction this gives us a field like this and I just rotate it again and now we view it from the side looks like this this is just a smaller version of the first array that you saw so this is what this looks so next array is also a circular one that looks also the same and the magnets are again arranged differently in a Halberg configuration and here you see the strong side of the array because this side is stronger than this side and I show you the weak side it looks like this and yeah the side view if we view it from the side like this 
and you can see it extends further out on one side than on the other. This is the strong side, if I rotate it a bit. And the weak side. So, let's move on to the next array. This is also a circular array with 8 magnets, but this time a bit bigger. And I've arranged the magnets in an alternating pattern, meaning North Pole, South Pole is alternating. And this gives us a field like this, also very interesting. If I just rotate it a bit. And this magnetic viewing film um, works like this. The darker the color, the stronger the magnetic field is, or the higher the magnetic flux. And yeah. Where there's no color or a brighter color, the, the magnetic flux is weaker, or there is no magnetic flux. So let's view this from the side. And then it looks like this. And on the other side, the same, of course. So I move over to the next array. This is another circular array. This time we have 12 magnets and they are configured in a Halbach configuration where we have one strong side here formed in a hexagonal field. I just rotate it underneath the viewing film and now we view the other side and it looks like this this is the weak side of the array and now we view the side like this and we will see that it extends further on one side. So, we move on to the next array. And this will be the last circular array, I promise. <laughs> this is an array of eight magnets. And they're all facing the same direction. And this gives us a field like this. And I think this one looks very nice. If we just rotate it like this. And then we view it from the side. So it looks just like this. And of the other on the other side it looks the same of course. So I switch over to the last array that I have for today. This is a square array. This is also a Halbach configuration. And this brings us also a very interesting pattern that you can see here when I get closer to it. Now we view it from the side. And if I just rotate it 90 degrees on the side edge, you will see 
this side looks different than this side. So I flip it again and then I flip it like this and then the other side. So this one gives a very interesting feed, I think. And yeah, for the finish, I have here simple magnets, um, just four of them, four disc magnets stacked together. And I show you what these look like, if you don't know that. And yeah, this is what just one simple magnet looks like under the magnetic viewing film. This is just viewed from the side, like this. And if I turn it like this, you will see it looks like this. And you will also see this spirograph pattern forming when I get closer to it. Maybe I can get it closer on the camera. This pattern forms because of the LED ring that is around. So if I just rotate it a bit. So this was just this small stack of four magnets. Now the last one for today is just two small cube magnets and stacked together then I wrap them with tape. So it's basically just like one magnet but a bit smaller one than before. You see the field looks the same, even though they are cube magnets. And yeah, we get the same interesting effect. And this is just, I just rotated a bit like this. This is it viewed from the side. So, yeah, that's it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching and goodbye.